Hey guys, I hope you are enjoying different videos on my channel. This is Harjit here and I'm back with one more series. Uh, this series is about uh, Spark streaming. So I hope you will enjoy this series and uh, please uh, you know, like the videos if you find this useful and share it with your friends. Thank you. Let us start with our series. Okay, so uh, you know, a lot of people said that I don't introduce myself. Uh, before uh, I start the video. So here is my introduction. Uh, my name is Harjit and uh, I am from Bangalore, India. Uh, I am going to help you through this course of uh, uh, Spark streaming. And I love to play with my kit and I love to play with my data. So that's a bit very brief introduction about me. Okay, so what are we going to learn as part of this, uh, this course? We're going to learn what is streaming and why do we need it? Uh, what is use of streaming in enterprise applications? What kind of applications are developed as part of streaming? So that's what we're going to learn as part of our uh, first chapter. And then uh, we are going to get into details of uh, streaming basics, like what is DStream, what is streaming context. So we'll understand that. Uh, after that, we'll do a Hello World Spark streaming application. I will help you, uh, you know, uh, run that on your system. And, uh, you know, we'll go and understand that what is actual meaning of uh, DStream in context of that uh, Hello World application and uh, how is uh, streaming context useful. Then we are going to get into details of uh, Spark streaming architecture. We'll understand that what is receiver, how does uh, data is received by Spark uh, from streams, and uh, how is it processed. So we'll get into details of the architecture as part of that video. Then uh, we will get into details of transformations. If you get a DStream, how you can process it. Uh, there is something called stateful transformations and stateless transformations. We'll understand what are those and we'll also do practicals for those. Then we'll see how Kafka can be integrated with Spark because that's the most used uh, you know, combination currently in enterprise. So Kafka is used as a, you know, you can say in simple words, Q and uh, uh, Spark is used as a, Spark streaming is used as a processing engine for that stream, which is coming from Kafka. We'll see how it is integrated. Then we'll see uh, how to do performance optimization for Spark applications. And at the end of this series, we'll do a Spark streaming project. Okay, so what do you need to know if you are going through this course? So you need to know basics of RDD. You need to know what is transformation actions. Uh, there will be a second series which will be following this series uh, that will be on structured streaming. Uh, as if you want to go through that, you have to know what is data frames and what is data sets. Then you need to have knowledge of transformations and actions, uh, what could be applied on RDDs. Uh, you could use Scala or Python for the development of uh, uh, this course, for learning this course. Uh, I'll be sharing code for both as part of this series. Okay, so we are going to use Spark Notebooks to do our uh, uh, development and practice. You can also use uh, Databricks Community Edition. Uh, you know, it is free and uh, you can practice on uh, Databricks Community Edition. If you have your own cluster, you can practice on that also. So I hope, you know, this series will be very useful for you. Please make use of uh, this series and ask a lot of questions. Share it with your friends and happy learning. Thank you.